Okay. We're working, working. Audio levels this time. All right. Hello, loyal YouTube viewers. Today we're going to be talking about dials and all the dial-y comparisons that we're going to make between different dials. And we're going to examine the strengths and weaknesses of the Ripple uh, Tangent dials versus the Palette Gear versus a special guest. I keep saying that the Palette Gear is, 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 it's got so much potential, but it's just not quite there. So let me show you some good things about it. Um, get this up here. Here's my Palette app. I've got some, I've got Shuttle, Jog, Scale, and Rotation. So Scale is exactly what you think here. I think I need to put this down here so you can see. It's, that's the program monitor. Scale. Check this out. Ah, not bad. Works really well, actually. It's, it's just got a bit of a delay. It's got a bit of, uh, yeah, look at that. It's got some unpredictable acceleration to it. Ooh. But it's pretty good. And then we've also got rotation. And if you click on them, because they're also buttons, it goes back to normal, which is great. But I can't uh, control exactly what happens when you push down on them as a button. There's buttons over here, and they have completely different features from what I can get in here with the dials which is no bueno. Uh, one other little thing is with the Premiere, you know, integration or whatever, you can tell if you look, that these are discrete. These are whole numbers. I'm sitting here at 94, 93, 92, 91, come on, ah, 91, 90. So as you can see, there's a bit of unpredictable acceleration or whatever, and also it's going by whole numbers, which is no bueno because I need that decimal point to really be able to carefully manipulate that. And the same goes for the rotation, you can see, right? And furthermore, this shouldn't even be a range. I only have nine options in here, low to high. What is low? What is high? This should just be a number that I type in, just like these numbers, right? These numbers are limited, but it's a premier limitation. Whereas sensitivity, I should be able to just type in 9,000. And if I want to add 9,000 to the, you know, to the scale with each turn of the dial, I should be able to, because it's my choice. It's the same with the tangent. There's this arbitrator blah, 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 dial sensitivity. I only have one, two, three, four, five possible things to choose from, when in fact, it should just be a number that I type in. So here I have the uh, shuttle and the jog commands. These are different ways of scrubbing through the timeline. Now I can use the mouse and that's fine. And I actually have a um, mod where I just right click and it goes there no matter where I click. I can click all the way up here or down here. It's fine, it'll just go there, it's great. Or you can click up here or you can use JKL. Right, so you can do that or let's try this one. If I let go, it's going, I can go backwards. I can't go any faster. Click down to stop. There's not much of a difference between normal speed and like super hyper fast. It's just like, it's just like, it's kind of like in the shower, just the barely bit of a difference between uh, scalding hot and like super cold. It's, it's kind of like that. So this one isn't that great. Let's see here, that's called shuttle. Not that great. Basically what it's doing is it's pressing JKL for you. And there's, there's no point. It's like steering a car with a pool noodle. You're giving up a lot of control uh, when you do that, because I might as well just hit the keys myself. And when I do that, I can actually feel when a command has been sent to the program. Whereas with this, it's turning and I don't know when it's actually telling Premiere to go faster. Okay, so there's that. So let's try steering a car with a steering wheel. This is called the, what is it? Jog command, okay, distinct from shuttle. Let's try jog. Okay, see, that's working better. You can see that it only moves when I am moving. Okay, so there's that. Now, the issue with this is, first of all, I have this on the highest sensitivity and it still is like actually really slow. And I'm having to ooh, go through and look, my finger ends up at the periphery of the dial if I go too fast because these dials, they're a little wobbly and also they're just not quite large enough. They're, they're, they're too narrow. They need to be just a bit wider and then it would be okay. And also because they're made out of metal, ugh, I get this horrible nails on a chalkboard 
effect whenever I actually touch the metal itself with my fingernail, which also reduces traction when I'm all the way around. So those things about them, not great. And also, these work as buttons. If I try to do a command while I'm holding it down, uh, holding the button down and hitting the dial, I have to push so hard. It's basically impossible. It's, ah, uh, and then the nails thing, it's, oh. Uh. Anyway, this command here, it's okay. It has a bit of acceleration issues, as you might be able to see. It's kind of hard to control. So there's that. Let me show you a better example of the same thing. Here we have the Ripple Tangent. Now I have this on, let's put it on Jog uh, feature. Look at this, ooh, baby, that's what we need. Look at this, perfect. I have exactly what I want. Now the issue with this one I can actually spin it faster because it's bigger and I have a little, little divot for my finger. But also, again, I don't have enough sensitivity options in here. Where are we? Right in here. Sensitivity is all the way up. It's as coarse as it'll go, but it's still not fast enough. And that's a stupid software limitation. It drives me crazy. So like, this is great if it was just faster. Uh, the Ripple Tangent is wonderful. I really like it for color correction. Like, you know, I can, change the tint, I can change the white balance, I can add exposure, I can add contrast and saturation, and then I can reset everything with a few keystrokes. Although I can't reprogram these buttons, which is nonsense, they're just reset buttons. I can only reprogram these two, two buttons, and there's so many options in here. Look at all this stuff you can do. There's so much in here, and you can't get to any of it with anything else, just the two buttons. Ugh. So. That's the Ripple Tangent. Just real quick here, you can see that the Corsair K95 has a volume uh, adjustment. Yeah, you can see it, it works pretty well. I don't like it as much as I like the one on the Logitech G15. It's very flat and it's discreet. It has stops to it. So you can feel exactly when the volume command has been sent. Now, speaking of Logitech, here today I have the greatest dial I have ever seen in my life. This blows all the other dials around here out of the water. This is the Logitech Craft uh, something or other. I don't remember. Watch this. It's capacitive. It's capacitive. I wish I could remap this function to do something else other than switch uh, functionality because it's way too easy to hit this accidentally. But oh my god. With more software options, this oh, this is just fantastic. This is a feature that I suggested in jest for the Palette Gear guys to have. Um, also, it has a button in it, which in this case is set to do volume. Check that out, volume. Works quite well, a bit of a delay on that. So I'm holding it down right now, and it's fine, it's easy. Uh, the Palette Gear dials, it's, it's far more difficult. Check out how smooth this is. I can go fast, I can go slow. I can pretty much go frame by frame if I really want to. It is so good. It's easy to do and if I hold it down, it's just as easy. And watch this, change it to another feature. It turns into a, a, a dial with stops on it. That is so cool. Now this jog wheel thing, this is basically useless. I don't know what it's doing. But anyway, how cool is that, right? It sounds like a camera click when it changes over. Watch again. So cool. So if I could just take this dial and put it on here, and then give it the software functionality that I want. It would be the greatest thing ever. But I can't. That is so sweet. Thank you for watching Terran's dial overview video. Please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> I can't take myself seriously.